Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you doing, Linda? Fine, and you? I'm fine, thanks for asking. Ready to start? Yes. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, how it how is I'm sorry, how was your day today? Was good. Was a good day. Thank God. Thank God. And it, it is nice yes, to hear that. You. Yeah, it is nice to hear that. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Let's see, because um we've got to start taking the attendance already because it's 801. So the one minute counts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Giovanni Alexander uh, Pineda. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Nice to hear Hello. that. I'm happy to see you. Yesterday yeah. you had you had problems with the connection, right? Uh, yes, uh, after train. Oh, okay, train. Uh -huh. mm, yeah. Well, uh, but did you see the video? Did you watch the video? Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> ah, you couldn't. Okay, okay, you 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 wouldn't be able. No problem. Uh, but it's you should see. Okay, you should watch the video when you don't um, when you miss a part of the class or when you miss a complete class. Right? It's uh. Uh, it's nice to catch up and when you come to the next class you know what we are talking about right yeah hello carlos alberto how are you doing kevin good evening teacher how are you doing carlos i saw yesterday you had this trouble too with with the connection right carlos I did have problems with my camera again. What is this going on? Después de la lluvia de ayer ya no pude conectar. Oh, yeah. What's going on here? Okay, yeah, it was raining yesterday and it was, well, here I heard only the signs, only the thunders, lightning, but uh, here in my zone, it didn't rain, thank God, <laughs> also, yeah. Uh, yesterday we were uh, talking about how to write an email correctly, a formal email, how to use the formal language and to follow some steps or guidelines to do this job correctly because this unit, this unit, it's about communication at the workplace. And in that case, we are talking about communication, but that communication that it is effective, right? Because we talk a lot, we have to communicate our ideas and we have to um, uh, get into conversations to deal with things, okay? And we have to agree or disagree with things, with attitudes of our coworkers, or maybe with our uh, boss, our super supervisor, and maybe we are having trouble, you know, we know, we need to know how to communicate our own ideas. So this unit, it's about communication at the workplace. The first thing is that you have to use a very polite language, polite language, right? And we started with could, yeah, could you please, using please, using thank you, and also be willing to do the things that they request. So these are polite requests. Would you mind calling to your manager, please? So 
it. Another phrase to um, have a polite request, okay, to, to do a polite request. Okay, let me take the attendance already. And let me say hello everyone and welcome to your class. This is the video conference number 14. And we are gonna take the attendance already. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you, Alejandra. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejia Álvarez. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present teacher. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present teacher. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Nancy Ivette Tobar Rivera. Raquel Judith Tobar, I'm sorry, Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. I'm sorry, Raquel. There you are, okay. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Juan Ramón Rodríguez Alas. Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Okay. So tonight we are going to start uh, watching uh, and sharing your emails, those you wrote yesterday, okay? We are going to start uh, doing that. And you are going to be the judges here, okay? You are going to correct your own jobs. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Annie. How are you doing? Fine. Okay, nice, nice to see you here. Now, let's see, guys. This was the example, right? This was the example yesterday, and it was about requesting a proof of salary certification. I sent it through the uh, WhatsApp. Now, let's see the next we received. Okay, here we've got it. And let's watch it better, okay? This is from Ana Cristina, okay? Let's see if she um, followed the steps. Did she follow the steps? Let's read it. Did she follow the steps, guys? What do you see? It says, good morning. Well, it, it has a greeting, ¿verdad? Siguió los, los pasos o no siguió los pasos? Veamos acá. Okay. Este fue el de Ana Cristina. Veámoslo todos. Leamos. Let's read. Okay, the steps are the formal greeting, 
Okay. In this case, I think she was sending this in general, not to a specific person. Yo pienso que ella le estaba enviando el email directamente al área que corresponda, ¿verdad? En ese caso, podemos poner whom uh, it may concern, okay? Whom it may concern. Para eh, cuando no, no sabemos a quién dirigirlo o el nombre de la persona que lo va a recibir, okay? Ponemos whom it may concern, okay? Voy a tratar de escribir por acá. Utilizamos este. Um, it may concern. Podríamos utilizar whom o who. O it may concern. ¿Okay? Cuando lo vamos a hacer así a quien corresponda, right? Whom it may concern. Now, she had a greeting saying good morning. Then after that, let's see if in the first, in the first line, does it say, uh, it says, can you help me with the token to be able to use my bank account? Okay, ahí está condensado. Todo lo que quería, toda su solicitud, ¿verdad? Todo su request. Entonces cumple ese, ese requisito, ¿verdad? Hay que cuidar el spelling, pero en la primera oración va resumido lo que ella necesita, ¿verdad? Uh, aquí el asunto en el, en el subject, ¿ok? It says talking. Yeah, it could be done like that, pero no sabemos qué sucede con el token y hacia dónde o a quién se lo voy a, a redirigir, ¿verdad? Cuando llega en general al departamento. Entonces, en el asunto podríamos ponerlo un poquito más específico, ¿verdad? Token request or valid token or invalid token pero decir qué es lo que está pasando con ese token en dos, tres palabras, in the subject, okay? Everybody agrees? What do you think, guys? Raquel, what do you think? Estamos cumpliendo los pasos. Ani. Sorry, mande. Estamos cumpliendo los, los pasos para escribir un email formal acá. ¿Te han cumplido? No, teacher. ¿Qué no, le no. falta? What is missing? Eh, le falta la despedida, pero me quiero ver. Dear. Be free. Free. El saludo. Ok, eso ya lo estábamos hablando y podría ser que ella lo envió al área completa, por eso no sabía a quién dirigírselo, ¿verdad? Entonces, ah, okay. entonces utilizamos una frase como a quien corresponda, ¿verdad? Podríamos haber utilizado ahí, ay, espérame, por aquí se me fue el cuadrito donde estaba escrito, pero por aquí ustedes pueden ver, who it may concern, lo miran. Hay otras frases para decirlo, pero esta es como la más eh, práctica. Ok, who it may concern. Ok, what about the um, dismissal or the, the closure, right? La despedida. Aquí está, ¿verdad? I will be pending to your answer. Ese I will be pending podríamos haberlo sustituido por la frase que decimos, ¿verdad? Looking forward, looking forward to your answer. Esas son frases clásicas y nunca fallan, okay? They never miss. Let's see, I have a chat here. Okay, so lame. 
And then does she does this email have a signature? Yes. Yes, it does. So we are seeing here a formal email. Okay, this is a formal email. She followed the steps, pero hay que cuidar algunas frases y el spelling, ¿verdad? Okay, Ay, permítanme que este se me mueve mucho. Allow me just a moment. Okay, now let's see the next one. Let's see the next one. What do you think about this one? Did, did this person, uh, it was Carlos, okay? Carlos Maldonado, he sent this email. Did he follow the steps to write a formal email? Did he follow the steps to write an email? Siguió los pasos para escribir un email formal? Yes. Okay, can you tell me how uh, or illustrate here? Illustrate here. For example, subject. It's thank okay. you. Mm -hmm. The salutation. Okay. And is it brief or is it long? Brief. Yes, and it is concise, Brief. right? It is concise. It goes right to the point. In order to start process of to start a process of bank loan, could you please send by email copy of your uh, ID and uh, meet? Looking forward to your reply. Excellent. Looking forward to your reply. Never miss. Carlos Maldonado, account executive. Good. Thank you very much, Carlos, for your example. You did a good job too. Let's see the next one. Okay, what about this one? Sulema wrote this one. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you, Sulema. Everybody, please tell me, did Sulema follow the steps? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Suleima. <laughs> yeah, Suleima. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's see about the subject. Let's look at the subject. Is it a good subject? Reverse, reverse budget. Okay, revised budget. Revised. Okay, excellent. So I have reviewed the budget. Uh, well, then it has a salutation, right? There, Martha. Ella tiene una mayor relación con esta persona, por eso no le puso dear Mrs. y el apellido, ¿verdad? O dear Miss y el apellido. Entonces no está así como que es muy lejana la persona. Probablemente es a coworker, right? Yes. So, and then it says, and I have changed all the columns called approved, but I sent you. I, Attach correct report. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah, please review it. Good. Regards. Excellent. Regards. Excellent. No problem. And then it has a signature. Yes, it's a formal email and she followed the steps. She's not using capital letter, all capital letters or all lowercase, right? Letters. Now let's see this one. Uh, this one. Ahí se ha quedado colgado el cuadrito. Okay. Then this one was from Linda. What do you think, guys? Did she follow the steps? Kevin, what do you think? Well, I, I can't. Okay. That's the subject. Excellent. And this other, this is the second step. Yeah, yeah, salutation. It's correct. Yes, it is correct. Now let's see if in the first line, a ver si en la primera línea ella puso todo 
o en la primer de entrada, pues, puso de qué se trata todo el asunto. Vamos a ver. My name is Linda Stephanie. It's a pleasure to greet you in order to complete the information to make a payment or a, the payment. Okay. Could you give me your bank account number? Right. It will be like that. Okay. Could you give me your bank account number? It's okay, your bank account. Please, you should specify if it is a checking or savings account. I'm looking forward to your response. Best regards. Excellent. Now let's see. It has also the... Uh, forgot the dismissal phrase here and then it has a signature and her identification right uh, uh her um job title administration department well he she works in administration department we don't know the job title but we can find her over there very good i i see that this is the formal email and it's really well done now let's see next one what do you think about this one What do you think? What can you tell me? A ver, quiero escuchar los chicos. ¿Cumple o no cumple? Alejandra? Yes. <laughs> said yes, you said yes. Karina, Karina. Okay, there you go. Alejandra, what do you think? Does this email follow the steps of writing a good formal email? Um, um, yes, it's your... Okay, can you tell me why? It has a subject, okay. It has. Saludo. Their salutation. 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 Okay. Yes, salutation. Now, what about the main purpose here? Is it brief or is it long? It's brief. Is it direct? Yes, it is, right? And it says, I write to you to request your personal and bank documents to be able to make the corresponding payment for this month. Okay. Mm. And in a uh, Última frase, en la última frase podríamos omitir I, ¿ok? Solamente looking forward, looking forward sin I. Ahora, si yo digo I look forward, entonces sí uso I. Pero looking no necesita el I ahí, ¿ok? And then it has a signature. Yes, it has a signature. And a proper ID over here, identification, what's her um place in the company let's see this other one what do you think about nancy's what do you think about nancy's email suleima yes teacher um, uh, a subject. Okay. A salutation. Salutation. Mm -hmm. Salutation. Uh, no, you see it at capital. Okay, good. You see it at closet. 
friends, a cousin friend. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Finish. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. And also it has the correct or the proper signature. She included a contact phone number, right? It's very important, it's very important. But here it says credits in the subject, right? It says credits. Uh, in this case, I think, I think um, she could be more specific in the subject. What about the subject, right? For example, oh, well, it says John 20, uh, 2021 credits. Okay, no, forget what I was saying, it is correct. <laughs> It is correct. I thought something different it was happening there, but no, it is okay and it's well done. It's well done. Okay, let's see this one from Silvio. Let's read. Okay, it has a proper subject. It says authorization request. Um, proper salutation. There, Miss Marat Sophia. And then it says to complete the budget closing in this month, we, we need to budget transfer. Okay. With your approval, we can't complete the closing process this day. Could you send your approval? Okay. Uh, in ese caso, solo falta el question mark para ver si es pregunta, porque es una, es una solicitud, right? So, request. And it's very well done because it says, could you send your approval? Question mark. I look forward for your answer. Good. Best regards. Okay. Yes, it has a, the dismissal here is with a very formal uh, phrase. It's okay. And then it has the signature. Correct, it has a contact phone number. Okay, guys, okay, we're gonna stop here and we're gonna start with today's class. Yo sé que todos quieren que enseñe el de ustedes, pero lo siento, jóvenes, necesitamos pasar a la clase de hoy, okay? <laughs> When your smiles. <laughs> yeah, you were saying, me, me, teacher. I want, I want the feedback. Okay, now let's continue. The topic for today is very interesting. The topic for today is really interesting. We're gonna start tonight with this. Okay. Nancy. Could you please read the topic for today? Mm, good, good etiquetting of the workplace. Thank you very much. Thank you. Can anyone tell me what date is it today? What date is it today? July 2021. Thank you very much, Raquel. So let's read the agenda for today. Could you please help me with that, Carla Veronica, reading the agenda? Yes, agenda. Feedback class, class board sharing, class objective presentation, reading comprehension exercise. Breakout rooms, conversation time, se session, session one on one, Maria Elena. Thank you very much, Carla. So let's 
continue with the second point in our agenda because the first one was sharing all the emails you sent to the WhatsApp group and we checked the steps to write a formal email. So now let's read our class objective for tonight. I'm going to read it first. Students will be able to provide oral and written instructions and guidelines about etiquette in the workplace. Okay. Can you please read the objective uh, the objective for tonight, please, Carlos Alberto. So then we'll be able to provide oral and writing instruction and give the lines about etiquette in the workplace. Thank you very much. So the topic here is etiquette. What is etiquette? What is etiquette? Do you have any Mommy. idea what does etiquette mean? Mommy. Mommy. Do you know? Mommy. Mommy. Okay. Good manners. Mm -hmm. Mommy. Mommy. A good Mommy. practice, right? Mommy. Mm -hmm. Etiquette. Etiquette. Etiquette is like a group of rules that we have to follow to behave acceptable in the society, okay? In the society. How, how is this, um, uh, in this case, applied to our workplaces? ¿Cómo se aplica etiquette? en nuestros lugares de trabajo, ¿cómo se aplica en todo caso estas maneras o formas de comportarse? We were talking about the rules, about the good behavior, appropriate, appropriate behavior, but also there are people that they don't want to follow those rules, right? There are people that they are like rebelled <laughs> in that, in that um, topic. So what is our attitude? What is our attitude to correct or to uh, get an agreement with that person that it is not fol uh, following the rules? A ver, como nuestra unidad, la número tres, se llama Communication at the Workplace, ¿ok? Ahorita vamos a ver el tema, normas de etiqueta, pero para nosotros serían como normas de conducta, ¿ok? En el trabajo. Eso es lo que vamos a ver. Ahora, En esta unidad estamos aprendiendo cómo comunicarnos. Ahora también tenemos que recordar que hemos visto bastante ahorita vocabulario, cómo hablar muy eh, amablemente sin que las personas se ofendan. Cuando nosotros vamos a corregir una actitud que no está correcta. Ok, bien. Pasados que ya dije en español esto, let's go and let's think about what rules of etiquette uh, do you practice in your workplaces? What rules of etiquette do you practice in your workplaces? Kevin Daniel. Would you like coffee? Okay, good. That's a very good phrase. 
you offer, right? You offer something and to have a good sharing, a good chatting, yeah? Like um, a casual interaction. Yeah, it's a very good thing. Would you like some coffee? It's a very good phrase to offer uh, coffee to your coworkers and it's to be polite. Okay, now, vamos a ir entonces a nuestro manual. Okay, en nuestro manual tenemos Una lectura, a reading exercise. Let's go to page 35. Let's go to page 35. Le vamos a dar una leída, okay? A ese texto que está ahí. We are going to read. And after that, we are going to watch a video, okay? I'm going to read it first. And it says, good etiquette at the workplace. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, that is okay. However, habitual latecomers are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concerned authority and report the reason why you are late. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of other countries. In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. You also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisors. Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. Etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your coworkers. If you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Do not, do not talk loudly while eating and remember to close your mouth when you chew. You should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future promotions, okay? Now that we heard the content of the reading, vamos a ver un pequeño video, okay? Let me share it with you. It's the same text, so let's watch.
Here we are. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, that is okay. However, habitual latecomers are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concerned authority and report the reason why you are late. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of workplace email etiquette of other countries. In the office emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. You also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisors. Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. Etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your co-workers. If you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Do not talk loudly while eating and remember to close your mouth when you chew. You should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future promotions. Okay, people. Now it's your turn to comment this um, reading. What is the story about? What is this reading about? What is this reading about? ¿De qué se trata esta lectura? What is this reading about? About etiquette guidelines at workplace. Okay. Okay. Punctuality word. Yes, to be punctual, yes. And the etiquette is important when uh, there is communication with the employer or client. Good, thank you very much, Carla. That is important because you are always communicating something. You are always con uh, uh, doing conversation, starting conversations and keeping conversations and also sending messages, uh, emails. And it says in the reading that not only in your country, right? It's not only in your country. So you have to be sure to know or to investigate, right? To do your research uh knowing about the culture or the formalities right formalities writing emails so mm -hmm. in this case what this reading is talking about is about some rules right some rules esas reglas o esas normas in english we call them do's and don'ts okay do's and don'ts what does it mean? Okay, you have the permission to do this and it's important that you to do this, but it's important that you don't do this, okay? Do's and don'ts. So let's go and see some do's and some don'ts. After that, we are coming to the uh, reading again because we have to complete the comprehension activity. But let's go over there to the slide and I have this do's and don'ts. Let's 
second it's sharing. Okay, here we have the do's and don'ts. These are some examples, okay? These are some examples of do and don'ts, do's and don'ts. So let's see, we use do, do in the positive or in the affirmative way, the affirmative form to emphasize, okay, to emphasize. So let's read the first one. I feel I'm, I'm alone here, okay. Siento que me están dejando sola, chicos. Hey, hey, everybody, here I am, here I am. How are you guys? Okay, when I say black, you say white, okay? Black. White. 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 Black. 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 Oh, there you are, guys. There you are. I thought you were sleeping already. Oh my God, no way. Okay, <laughs> let's go back. Let's go back to the slide. Vamos a ver esas, esas normas de hacer y no hacer, de... Uh, Permiso y no permiso de hacer alguna cosa, okay? Let's go, do's and don'ts. So these are only examples. Number one, it says, do arrive early, okay? Do arrive early. Number two in the do's. Everybody, please. To be willing to help your coworkers. Thank you. Number three. To bring on board. Do bring in Woody, uh, goodies, good goodies. Woody. I said Woody's Woody. like the movie, right? <laughs> yeah, do bring in goodies. And number four, to dress, to dress appropriately to dress for, for, the the office. Office. for the office. Okay, let's see the don'ts. Don't have a person who can do this. Okay, number two. Don't be afraid. 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 Don't be Creo que ya se tomó la idea de que se trata la lectura, ¿verdad? Vamos a ir de regreso a la lectura. Se trata entonces de do and don't, ¿ok? Se trata de cosas que sí se deben hacer y cosas que hay que cuidar de no hacer, ¿ok? Let's go back to the uh, manual, please. And in the manual, you are going to find some questions. Here we go. Oops. There it is. And it's shared. Okay, I'm going to scroll this thing. And let's read question number one. If you know you are late, you should. And number two, what is a tip to apply in official emails? Then we have two more in the next page, which is not good etiquette when talking on the phone. And number four, if you receive a call while you're eating with coworkers, you should then your job, entonces su trabajo va a ser que ahorita en los breakout rooms, ustedes van a ir juntitos y lo van a leer nuevamente y van a responder esas preguntas. You are going to answer those questions, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. 
Thank you very much, Carlos. I feel I was alone here. Okay. <laughs> I see everybody's call tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you didn't have dinner, right? You didn't have dinner yet. That's why you are like this. No, everybody up, up. Hey, let's see. I'm going to create this rooms first. And let's say we have 20, yeah. I am working at the same time, teacher. <laughs> oh, so you're working. Oh, okay, well, let's try to. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, yeah, I feel that I was alone tonight because you participate and tonight I was missing you. Okay, everyone, there are the invitations. There they are. Teacher, por alguna razón me cayó la invitación, pero se desapareció. Uh, really? Eh, se, uh, vaya arriba, o, o en, en la eh, barra de herramientas, abajo. Por ahí tiene que sí, estarle pero, haciendo uh, un flash. Ready, ready. ready. Thank you. Okay, there you are. Ana Cristina, did you receive the invitation? Yes. Official emails. What is a tip to applicant in office official email? Uh, I think it's letter C. It's for the subject. Oh, no. mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Letter C. Letter C. Okay. It's for the search of clearly. Okay. <clears throat> the next. Mm -hmm. uh, which is not good etiquette when talking on the phone. Let's be using clear. Hey, teacher. Hello, teacher. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Practice reading. Yes, teacher. Ahorita. Yes, teacher. En eso estamos. Bueno, empecemos. Bien, empecemos. Ajá. Porque si no, va. Eh, hay que. Va. There are. Le, eh, leo yo. Sí, ajá. There, o sea, are, there are many workplace a cigarette hiddenlings, but the most important is to be punctual to your or office if you are late because you have an emer emergency. Emergency, no, como, como se lee esto, emergencia. That is okay. Emergency, However, emergency. 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 Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Emergency. Emergency. That is okay. However, habitual late commerce are never appreciated in the organization if you get up to your office on time. You show that 
you are responsible and you respect the organization, you know that you will be late, the uh, good activity like will be to call the concerned authorities and report direction why you are late. <sighs> <risa> Continúe okay. usted la, la otra parte. Ah, esa es la parte que me falta. Ah, le falta. La, ah, pues usted hubiera empezado. Sí, hombre, la re. Vale, vale. Bueno, después. Tigerax is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good wallet on the workplace in May etiquette of other countries. In the of official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. You also need to include the, all the important details you show, use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. In addition, of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during, during our daily work. Be polite with your talk to your employees or you, a supervisor, listen to what they say carefully and do not in eso es ese es verdad can, if you know you are late it. you should uh -huh. compense si tú llegas tarde you should Yo creo que la primera sería la, la segunda. Bueno, vamos a leer. Ah, pues es... Es literal B. B. Call the person to report to. Uh -huh. Literal B. Yes. Uh, okay. Number two. Okay. What is the Where tip to apply it in official in... email? Apply. Mm. It's important to communicate, please. Signs. Yo te lo pongo. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you doing? Okay, Nancy, yes, use the chat.
concerning authority. Oh, teacher. Teacher. Teacher, uh, and, Hello. and I've and found <laughs> one uh, word. Okay. Shoe, shoe, uh, this shoe. One. Shoe. Shoe. Yeah, uh, but shoe. Yes, but you have to do the the strong sound. Shoe. 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 Yeah, because <laughs> shoe is a thing that we use in our feet, right? <laughs> close your mouth when you food. when you shoe. 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 Like this. When you chew. When you close, chew. To close mm -hmm. your mouth when you chew. Mm -hmm. You've got to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, when you are. Yes. Okay. Okay. Chew. Well, new word. <laughs> yeah, for example, when you chew gum, we say that. Uh, uh, please don't chew gum in a meeting, right? You have to be respectful to not. You shouldn't chew gum in a meeting. Yeah. You shouldn't chew gum when you are talking on the phone, <coughs> right? Chew. So, yeah, chew gum. Chew gum. Okay. Chew. chew. Yeah. Yes. For example, imagine, imagine that you are eating, right? You are eating, and then you receive that call as it says over there. Then you start, mm -hmm. yeah, oh, yeah, okay, <laughs> right. That's, uh, that's what you shouldn't do, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> it's not correct. <laughs> it's not correct. And it is not proper. I think it's nasty, right? It's nasty. Okay. Se esconde, se esconde. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, and Kevin, uh, number one, if you know you are late, you should. What what is the uh -huh. answer? Literal A, B, or C? Not do anything about it. <laughs> I think is literal B. Because uh, Call the person in you... this in this part mention uh, if you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette with line will be to call the concerned authority the and person. report the reason why you are late. Okay, guideline, be... right? Guideline. Guideline. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Little B. It's okay. Little B. It's okay. Okay. Second question. What is a tip to apply? Uh, no. Apply? To apply. apply. To apply. apply. Mm -hmm. Oh, what is tip to apply in official emails? In official emails, yes. Official sure. emails. Mm -hmm. What is a tip to apply? Applied in official emails. Literal A, send the mail in English. Literal B, use a long salutation. Literal C, express the subject clearly. Um, teacher, it did, but it's tip. Tip what, is. What let, uh, tip. Es como un consejo o una, yeah, suggestion, oh, yeah. Suggestion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like a step to follow, okay? Like a step to follow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Go to the reading, go to the reading and look okay. it up. I, 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 Found. Go to the part where they are talking about I, the emails. I find finds in the photograph. Yes, you have to scroll up. Okay. Just a little bit. There you are. Eric, there you Erica are. is all important. You have to communicate mm -hmm. with employees, not a client. Uh, emails. Aquí está. Emails. Uh, aquí so está esa parte. Uh -huh. It's Perfect necessary email. to have good it's, it's knowledge, teacher. Knowledge. Knowledge. It's knowledge. Knowledge. Good knowledge of the workplace, email etiquette of other country. In the office official official emails you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise 
Kevin, answer. A, B, let's see. Send the image. For me, is literal C. 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 Express okay. the subject clearly. Express the subject clearly. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. uh, because you can use formal and grammatical. Language. In the official email, official emails. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sí. Yes. Bien. Okay, veamos. Okay, continue working in the next page. You have two more questions, okay. and I'm going to another room. Okay, guys, let's okay. meet us then. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, in teacher. In the main room, no problem. Hello, Asti. Hello, Asti. Hello, teacher. Did you have problem with your connection? Sí, es, es, es que no hay inter y lo estoy haciendo de, del celular que estoy pasando a la computadora. Oh, okay. Y uh -huh. este, uh, ¿con quién estaba? Daniel y se salió. Daniel. Ay, Daniel, Daniel. Ahí me parecía Daniel. Sí, no, no está. Está Kevin, Daniel. ¿Estaban en la sala 10? No me fijé qué sala era. Sí, porque como los dos salieron, ya quedamos sin esa sala, veamos. Ahí viene. Someone is coming in. No. He disconnected again. Okay. Uh, la voy a pasar, Astrid, a la sala con Linda y María Elena. Va, va, está bien. Okay. Uh, observation following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future promos promotion. Okay. Uh, hello, teacher. Yes. Ready. Okay. Did you answer the, the questions already? Yes. Okay. Nice. Nice. Yes. Okay, continue practice the reading and I'm going to another room because there are some groups that they haven't finished yet, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Hello there. Did you finish, Carla? Yes, this your finish. Practice your reading, guys. Practice your reading. Take advantage of these rooms. Okay. Aprovechen, aprovechen los, los, las salas para practicar, okay? Okay, teacher.
Okay, guys, what is the answer for number one? Letter B. Letter B. 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 What does it say? Can you read it, please? Call the person you report to. Letter B. Call, okay. Nice. Number two? Letter C. Letter C. C. What does it say? Letter C. Letter C. Express the, the subject. subject. Okay. okay, number three. Mm. Letter B. B. Letter C. Letter C. Letter C. Letter C. Okay. Could you please read it? Letter C. To other C. Again, A. again. Leave the, the table and answer, and answer the call. Okay, this is when you receive a call, right? And you are eating. Mm. Yes. But the trees interrupt the other speaker. Yes. Yes. Letter um, C. Number B. three. What letter B. is the answer for A. B? For number A. three. We C. B. A. <laughs> no. B because C. it's do not, do not interrupt the other speaker. The number three, little B. B. Yes, letter B. Ah, uh, letter B and number three. Yes. Yes, letter B. Letter B. B. Okay, okay. It's speak you in clear voice. Uh, okay. It... Okay, let's let's read it again, guys, because let's see question number three, which is not good etiquette when talking on the phone. So does everybody agree that is the letter B the correct answer? I mean the, the yes. 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 Okay. There you are. Number four. Letter C. Letter C. C. What does it say? Could you please read it? Letter C. Letter C. Leave the table and answer the call. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now let's imagine. This is for you to talk. Um, for giving opinions. Let's imagine that you are a manager in charge of a group, okay? And your boss, okay, uh, uh, you are the boss of a group, you are in charge of a group, but they are sending you and your group to visit to another company or another, maybe a branch or somewhere. You are going somewhere with your group. Can you please think about what are the uh, etiquette guidelines that you would ask or would you request to your group to cause a good impression where you are taking these people? Okay. Mm. Yes, Maria Elena, go ahead. Um, no, teacher. Uh, okay. The thing is that mm. here we are thinking that you are a manager of a group and you are going to make a visit somewhere, but you need to cause a good impression. So what are some etiquette guidelines that you are going to request uh, to your coworkers behave correctly? Mm, respect. Speak with kindness. Okay, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. What else? Mm, is to be punctual your office. Okay, to be punctual. Good. And import, communicate, and check the email. Okay. Mm. Use polite language. Excellent, Maria Elena. Good. <laughs> Use uh, very polite language. Uh huh. What else, Annie? Carlos Eduardo?
do's and don'ts for your people that are visiting to any place. And it's very important because you have to cause a good impression over there with your group. Okay. To, to dress appropriate, appropriately for the office. Okay, great, great. To dress appropriate. Um, some companies have a dress code. Algunas compañías tienen una forma específica de vestirse, right? For example, there are companies, and it depends on the place or in the field they are working. But for example, if uh, you are going to work in the uh, countryside, then you are not going to go with high heels if you are a woman, right? No va a ir con tacones si el requerimiento es que usted lleva botas industriales o que lleva botas para el campo, right? So there is a dress code, a proper dress code, okay? I'm not going to go with mini skirts if the thing is very formal, right? I'm not going to show more than it is necessary, okay? I'm not going to go like a sexy girl if it is not needed, right? That's not my job. My job is to think and to propose. So in that case, yes, you have to uh, dress appropriate, appropriately. Okay, now let's go to the do's and don'ts again. Attended teacher. Thank you very much. The thing is that we get some more time in the breakout, but yes, thank you very much, Celia. Okay, let's start. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Present, sure. Thank you. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Present, teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejia Alvarez. Present, teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present teacher. Nancy Iveto Rivera. Present teacher. Eh, Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Present. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Juan Ramón Rodríguez Alas. Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón. Present teacher. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Ábrego. Present teacher. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's continue with this because we want to do some uh, something important because you have to express this clearly. Present teacher. Yay. Who said something? Like it, Robert. Anna. Was it Anna? Thank you. Uh, okay, Anna. Did you say present? I think present was the word, right? Okay. She got disconnected again. Okay. I was sharing here. Okay, let's go back to the do's and the don'ts. And let's talk about this. 
let's imagine that you have a group, okay? Or maybe your coworker, your coworker uh, is arriving late constantly. Every day he's uh, showing up late at work. So what should be your attitude to correct that? What do you think you can do to tell this person that he is not doing correctly? He's not acting correctly. What do you think? ¿Cómo sería una manera de decirle a esa persona, hey, mira, está viniendo muy tarde, right? Or some things like that. You should arrive early. Okay, thank you very much, Karina. Thank you. So um, we are going to watch a video I sent to the WhatsApp group, okay? About a person who is constantly arriving late to work. And let's see what attitude is the best one. Let's see what is the correct attitude and what is the incorrect way to uh, act in that situation. So this scenario is very important because it can happen to everyone here. Just let's remember that we have do's and we have don'ts when we watch the video, okay? So let's go to the video because we are in do arrive early, right? Arrive early. So everybody, please go to the WhatsApp group, the WhatsApp chat. No lo podemos mostrar aquí, así que lo van a ver ustedes ahí en, en, en su device, en your device. Okay, I sent a song also. Did you hear the song? Did you hear the song? Katy Perry. Yeah, of Katy Perry, yeah. Small talk. That's to illustrate and to understand better what does small talk refers to. Okay, there we have work scenarios with coworkers. You click on the link, please. My phone's turned off. Okay, Astrid, there you go.
Okay, guys. I need to hear what would you do in that in that uh, case scenario if it were you. Let's imagine. Did you watch the video already? Oh, yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you. Okay. Now, what would you do in that situation? Do you have coworkers that act like that? Late comers? Yeah, I will late. Okay, and do you feel comfort comfortable working with uh, a person who present that attitude? Do you feel comfortable? Does it affect, does it affect uh, the other people around that someone arrives late constantly? What do you think? What do you think, Kevin? Do you have any coworker that arrives late? Yes. Okay. Do you arrive late or early to work? Everybody? Early. 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 Always. <laughs> okay, yeah. You should. You should, guys. <laughs> for minutes. Yes. Uh, okay, for minutes, yeah, for minutes is late. Yeah, one minute is late. And the markers, yes. <laughs> okay, do they apply a discount for people who arrive late? Who arrive late? Do they apply a discount? By the law, yes, they have to do it. But do they apply that in your companies? Give me just one second because something fell down over here and it's, uh, okay, just, just one second. You're welcome. It's a big deal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 20 minutes tarde, llega todos los días. Okay, but don't worry, I'm going to pick it up. Come down. There, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, we were in the thing, if, yeah, about the late comers, the late comers. If you arrive 20 minutes, you said, they apply a discount. Or is there a person who constantly is arriving 20 minutes late? I heard something. I heard Carlos talking. And others, others department, uh, this accounting for a guy late. Okay, they, in, they apply in, discounts. In my case, uh, I work most después 
before after 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 hours after, after hours, hours or i do overtime yes. i do overtime or i work after hours okay yeah but some companies they don't care if you do extra work okay you have to be on time and uh, to start working some companies do that some other companies depending depending on the field they're working then they can uh, make like a um, an agreement with the the employee or with the bosses right they say okay we're going to write uh, just give me one second because something it's not working here. Okay, then. Uh, so we were saying about the punctuality. So let's go to the to the do's and the don'ts because what I uh, want you to do is you are going to start a conversation and you are going to try you are going to try to um, to role play a case scenario. Okay, ustedes van a inventar un escenario con estos do's con estos don'ts. Nos vamos a ir al breakout room para que ustedes puedan eh, escoger entre estos do's y estos don'ts eh, un inventar, ¿ok? Un momento, así como el que vieron en el video, con lenguaje con el que hemos aprendido en la clase, ¿ok? Pueden utilizar el diálogo eh, cuando estábamos lo del, hablando del email, Ok, cuando estábamos hablando del email, si está, si es correcto, si no es correcto. Ok, pueden utilizar ese diálogo para poder hacer un escenario. Ok, ustedes pueden decir, for example, there is a problem here. Maybe someone is gossiping about you. Or maybe uh, you have a coworker that every time is shouting out when he gets angry, as we saw in Emmanuel. And here, and here, eh, antes de irnos, quiero que veamos bien estos que tenemos acá, okay? Do be willing to help your coworkers. Do be willing to help your coworkers. Always, always, there are there is someone that is going to tell you, okay, that's not my responsibility, I'm sorry. Go to see what you're gonna do, okay? we have to make a difference and we have to follow a very good etiquette in the workplace. So the next one, uh, it says, do bring in goodies. It means, for example, for example, uh, women like to bake, for example, bake cookies at home, or maybe you may go for uh, pass by La Tecleña, right? And you get those encaneladitas and then you share with your coworkers. That's a very good attitude. And it says a lot of you. It says a very good thing about you. Cuando uno comparte, ¿a quién no le agrada recibir una cosita chiquita que hace un vínculo, verdad? It makes a boundary between you guys, okay? It makes a link between you and your coworkers. Uh, con esto hay que tener cuidado. We've got to be careful because you have to share with everyone, okay? You are not going to share and eating in front the, of the others, okay? Like, uh -huh, uh -huh, right, we brought this and that's not a good attitude. Or, or the other thing, for example, you just take something special to your supervisor, right? Uh-oh, no, not only that. Okay, you can do that, but in a good way. And, and it has to be clear. Tiene que quedar claro, ¿verdad? Que no estamos eh, enjoyando, right? So to bring in goodies is a very good do, a very good uh, etiquette. The next one, 
Number four, uh, it says, do dress appropriately for the office. If you work at an office, in an office, okay, then you have to dress appropriately. Uh, lately, lately in these days, lo que sucede últimamente es que muchas compañías han bajado ese estándar, ¿verdad? The standard was uh, like wearing suits, but then, okay, only the ties, right? Without the uh, jacket only the tie, but now it's more flexible because there are companies that they accept you to show up in t-shirts, right? There are places where you can go in shorts, okay? There are some places that you can go like that because you don't have a client in front of you or depends on the client. For example, if you work for uh, in those companies at uh, the beach, for example, then you are going to dress appropriately. You are not going to be with the turtleneck, right? No van a andar con tu cuello de tortuga en la playa, right? So yeah, dress appropriately for the office. Then the other, don't have personal conversations at your desk. Es de muy mal gusto, right? It's not kindly that you go to the other desk just to I said someone yesterday, right? Okay, don't be afraid to ask questions. For example, you don't know the process or you don't know how to do that instead of getting wrong, okay? It's instead of making a mistake, go and ask to the proper person. That's a don't, don't be afraid of, to ask questions. Next one, don't gossip about your fellow coworkers or your boss. Eso se da mucho entre las mujeres a veces, uh, bueno, between men also, but mostly with women that they are so close friends, right? They are so, oh, this is my best friend here in the workplace. But the, the next day you see that they are apart, one in that, uh, in that side and the other like um, trying to uh, like uh, cats and dogs, right? Like cats and dogs. So please, don't gossip about your fellow co-workers, de sus um, colegas más cercanos, ni de los lejanos, y mucho menos del jefe or your boss. And the next one, the last one is don't forget an umbrella. Ah, so it means you have to be prepared. For example, okay, what, what women do, what women do is that we have like a blouse, an extra blouse, right? Or maybe an extra pair of shoes at the office because we are like preventing or we are thinking in advance that accidents can happen. For example, it's not so nice that you go to visit a client, okay? You go to visit, visit a client and it starts raining and you get, all wet, okay? And stay wet in the air conditioner having that meeting. It's not uh, so nice, okay? So you've got to be prepared. That means don't forget an umbrella. O sea, no solo se refiere a la lluvia. Esto es como un decir, okay? Don't forget an umbrella. It means that you have to be prepared. For example, coffee spilled in your shirt, white shirt and you go over there, or spinach in your, or beans, right? The skin of your, of the beans in the teeth. So we have to be prepared in our presentations. Okay, now uh, we have just 10 minutes, okay? Just 10 minutes to prepare a scenario, okay? We are going to prepare it tonight and we are going to present it tomorrow. Tomorrow we have a vocabulary practice. Okay, I'm going to create again the groups. Okay, we're going to be. We're 19, so we're going to be three.
Okay, five groups. There you are. Kevin Daniel, didn't you receive the invitation? Oh, there you are. Okay, I'm still connecting. Pero no en una específica, sino que. El teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. Es mezclar temas o uno en específico? Whatever you want, just a scenario. Yes, you can just think about someone that it is not punctual in the. Uh, then your work, or maybe someone who is always traveling out. Or someone that is always eating. Okay. And answers the phone chewing. <laughs> Things like that. Things like that. Well, we were early, every day. For example, Ana Cristina is the manager and Juan Carlos is, I don't know, um, I don't know, he's writing an email and Karina is, uh, something like that. Okay, everybody doing something. Yeah, and the thing comes up. Okay. 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 Es como hacer un tipo de diálogo. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes, of course I know that. Yes, of course I know that. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I am. Hagamos así, Hagamos así. Siempre, como, siempre como, como en el video que la chica llegó tarde, tarde, pero vamos a mezclar llegar temprano con también la vestimenta, como que llegó tarde a, a una reunión. Y aún llega tarde a una reunión, no va a decir probablemente. Okay. 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 Let's try to say that in English. Yes. <laughs> okay. Birds. Um, someone. Someone arrives late. Arrives late. Someone arrives late. Um, um, yeah, no llega temprano, llega tarde. Yeah, arrives no late. Arrives late. Okay. Go is irresponsible. Irresponsible. Ah, sorry, guys. I arrived late. I arrived late. 
I am asleep. I am for Overslept. 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 Yeah. Pasado, right? Past simple tense. Overslept. Me dormí. Overslept. Okay, so for guys, arrive uh, late uh, because hours late. No sé, la respuesta de alguien de ustedes. And then Karina says, you should you go should to bed early. Go to bed early. <laughs> you shouldn't go out every <laughs> night, go out every, every week every night. night. Every week night. No sé, tenga la idea en español y después la armamos en inglés. Para formular, para formular. Dijo, no. Dijo, no. <laughs> yes. Ahí estoy mal. Sería como, no sé si llegamos a dar una reunión, como decir, teníamos una reunión a las 8 uh -huh. y alguien que diga, sí, tuve eh, como, una clase. Como, como respondiéndome a mí o Carlos. Y... Ajá, pues, Tú... alguien llega y quien pregunta, teníamos la reunión a las 8 y el otro que conteste, sí, pero tuve que el tráfico, una, una emergencia, no sé qué. Entonces, ya eso lo pasamos en inglés. <ríe> ok. Ok, guys, I'm going to another room. another room. Continue, continue thinking. Ok. Teacher, me sacó, me sacó. El inter me falla. Thank you. Uh, it's true. Thank you. I was here. Right? Mm -hmm. Solo este pedacito faltaría. Okay, este aquí. Um, ahí sí. Te voy a... No se falta ahí. En la, um, en la pregunta de arriba, Amanda, es: ¿Do you arrive early at work? Tú, creo que no va tú, sino que at, at work. What does appropriately? I have to dress appropriately of the office. Ahí responde así. Así respondo yo, ¿verdad? Appropriately. What does... Yes. Is the dress formal? Formal dress? No. Un no. vestido formal o ropa formal, no sé cómo poner. Is formal dress code. Formal? Formal dress code. Dress code. Yes. The formal dress code.
Uy, ya no está. Luego viene Ani y hace las preguntas. Sana, sana, culto de rana. ¿Qué estás haciendo? ¿Qué? ¿Qué estás haciendo? ¿Qué? 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 What are you doing? 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 What are you Why are you eating? Como molesta, ¿verdad? Diciéndole como molesta. Uh -huh. ¿Qué haces? ¿Por qué estás comiendo? Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Por qué? Vamos a ver cómo hacen. ¿Por qué? Entonces vengo yo y contesto. It's not you. It, it, it. Okay, people, look, um, the turn for the session one on one, it was for Maria Elena tonight, but I see that she got disconnected. So we have that space available. Is there anyone who wants to, to stay? Anyone who wants to stay, who has questions? Me, teacher. Okay, okay, then Carlos staying with me and I'm going to take the attendance. And tomorrow we are going to practice the conversation that you 
uh, created tonight. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodríguez. Present teacher. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Ana del Carmen María Álvarez. Present teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Giovanni, ok, Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present teacher. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Carla Verónica Present. Suria López. Present teacher. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Nancy Iberto Barrivera. Present Ra teacher. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Zuleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Present. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Juan Ramón Rodríguez Alas. Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón. Present. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present. Silvio Present. Enrique Cortés Flores. Ok. Okay, finally, uh, okay, we are off the clock and let us meet. Let us meet tomorrow, guys. Have a good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hello, okay. Carlos Alberto. Tell Hello. me, okay. how can I help you? Yesterday, uh, I told with my internet, uh, I can't explain it, but I feel like only video, I don't feel very good, because it Okay, well, what we have done is unit three. Unit three is about communication in the workplace, okay? Communication in the workplace. I'm going to show you the slides and then I'm going to show you a little of the um, manual, okay? Because in a manual we have the grammar, the grammar structures that they are very important, okay? But uh, you had problems only yesterday, right? Yes. Okay, then it is writing an email. Steps to write an email. Was that the topic that you missed? Okay. Yes, uh, page uh, 33. 30, 30, okay, 33. Then I'm not going to the slides, I'm going directly to the manual because in the manual we have the steps, mm -hmm. okay? And it's very important because uh, usually we are sending emails and in English, well, as in Spanish, we have some rules. For example, we have to take care about some details like uh, not writing all in capital letters or uh, write a very clear subject, right? And also, for example, you have to include a closing phrase and the closing phrase are usually established like the best regards uh, yes <laughs> yes uh-huh so let me share this with you for us to just see it something happening okay here we are okay these are the guidelines or the tips right these are the tips so let's see the number one. It says fill in the subject line with a topic relevant to your recipient and not just document or important. So you don't have to write just important because maybe important what? Okay, so you have to be clear 
uh, in a few words, in one sentence or two words that uh, make a summary, okay? Make a summary of the main purpose of the, um, uh, of the email. And then, well, the, the salutations. We have in English some salutations or titles. I mean, we include titles in the salutation. How, for example, we say, good morning, Mr. Wilson. Good morning, Mrs. Rivera. Good morning, Ms. Orantes, right? We use, um, a, I said Spanish, right? No, in English, <laughs> in English, we have these titles. I engineer, no. Well, those are academic titles. Those are oh. academic titles. But the academic titles are only if you really know, okay? Only if you are sure what this, this person studied or what he uh, graduated, from what career this person is graduated. So if you don't know, it's better that you to go for the sure thing, okay? It's better that you to use this, Mr. and Mrs. And then after that, you write the job title, okay? Or the position where he works. For example, you can say, dear Mr. Melendez, uh, human resources manager, okay? Instead of the academic title. But the common ones that, yes, you can use them. For example, I can say Professor uh, Beteta, right? Or Professor, or I can say, for example, doctor, right? Or medical, uh, this is a PhD, right? Physician. So we use the shorts for that, como las abreviaturas para eso. Son un montón en inglés, son bastantes. Y pues hay que tener el cuidado exacto de qué le pondríamos si lo ponemos después del nombre. Pero ese es academic titles, okay? ¿ok? Por eso digo, no es muy importante, sí es importante, pero no es inde, indispensable que se coloque como en español, licenciado o ingeniero. O sea, no, no es así en English. It's not like that. So, uh, solo los más relevantes son los más comunes y se ponen así porque son conocidos, ¿verdad? son los más eh, normales. Then, number three, it says you have to write your main point in the opening sentence. Right when you start uh, talking, por eso usamos las frases in order to, ok, y la otra frase es since. Um, a raíz de, right? O desde que esto y esto sucede, esto y esto solicito, right? So, since in order to. Since is a word. I think you know those words, right? Do you know those words? Okay, since, okay. Since I'm new, for example. Oops, oops. Since I, I'm sorry. Since, since I'm uh, new in this area, for example, right? I am new. Okay, since, since I am new in this area, something, 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 something. Or for example, I could say in order, okay, in order to, and then I say something, for example, in order to complete, in order to, to get order, in order to explain, in order to whatever you want to say, okay? In order to es una frase introductoria que va directo al gran, ¿verdad? In order, supreme, supreme, supreme. Okay, in order to. So you have to write your main point in the opening sentences. You can use since or in order to. Then, and the number four, we say, do not use all capital or all lowercase letters. Why? Because capital letters means that maybe you are shouting out to the person or you, are, you feel like you are superior or you are correcting something in a bad manner. 
And if you use all lowercase letters, it means maybe that you don't know the correct spelling, right? You don't know when to capitalize, or maybe you don't know if the, um, if the nouns are proper or are common nouns. So yeah, you use um, all lowercase letters, then it's not correct. It's, it doesn't look good. Then number five, it says avoid abbrevi abbreviations like please, or for example, we have another like ASAP. Do you remember that? ASAP, right? As soon as possible. No, we're not gonna write like that, okay? Or we're gonna, we're not gonna say, for example, um, I want the red boxes to, uh, for tomorrow, okay? Then I'm not gonna say, in Spanish it sounds good, but for example, if I say by tomorrow, okay? Yeah, or some other words like, for example, instead of saying two, you are going to write number two, no, right? Uh, <laughs> we use this language in informal messages. For example, if you are chatting, then you use these abbreviations, okay? Uh, because you're like in the WhatsApp, right? For example, I use a letter U instead of, of writing U, right? Or maybe I write only uh, like this, I'm sorry, where, okay? Where to say we are, okay? Or for example, I write, this is my uh, way to do it. I just write a letter R like that to say R, okay? You are welcome, for example. And I write like this. I write like this, you are welcome, okay? And I write like this, you are welcome. That's my abbreviation and it's understandable. For example, you say thanks, I write T-H-X-S, right? So yeah, we are not going to use that in formal emails, but for informal, yes. For formal, not allowed. Allow. Uh, so um, you've got to be polite. Use please, use could, use would, use should to uh, uh, ask for polite requests, right? And also you've got to be brief in your message. You don't want, you don't want to be extended, right? You don't want to send extended message or maybe you don't want to write more words to say only one thing, right? So yeah, those things you have to take care of. And then the closing phrase, like best regards, regards, looking forward to your comments, looking forward to your reply or whatever it sounds good to you, right? Whatever it sounds good to you, porque ahora, eso es en los formales, ¿verdad? Pero ahora se ha flexibilizado mucho. It's more flexible, yeah? It's more flexible. Uh, but it's better if we go by the old school, you are not going to fail, okay? You're gonna miss if you go by the old school. Uh, si empieza uno a utilizar el old school with time, okay? In time, you are going to find some other ways, okay? But let's go by the formal. And number nine, it says, add a signature block with appropriate contact information. Remember a contact phone number, right? It's important. May, uh, mostly when the email goes out the company. Okay, it goes for an external office, for example, or maybe it goes for a client. It needs a contact number. But if it goes from coworker to coworker, I think that's not an, a must. That's just uh, if you write your blog, that uh, it's automatic now to, to do it. Okay, usted se va arriba en la barra de herramientas y encuentra y rápido ya está lo establece, right? But um, this is important to add name, your business address, and your phone number to get 
contacted by the person you are writing to. And then the number 10. Number 10 is edit and proofread before you send a message. It means that you have to be sure that everything is correct. You're not gonna send something with errors or mistakes. Maybe you forget to attach the file, right? And you sent it. And you are saying uh, in, the in the attachments, you will find the report of uh, this month's sales, for example. Where is the attachment? It's gonna say, that. oh, then you remember, oh, I forgot to attach that file. Right, so that's uh, why you have to edit and prove read, okay? No spelling mistakes. And also you've got to be that there are no typos in it, right? Misspelling or typos, right? Or punctuation, porque a veces por la puntuación se entiende otra cosa, right? Yeah. So we've got, we've got to be careful with that. Edit and proofread. Vuelva a leerlo y vuelva a leerlo hasta que realmente, okay, yeah, ya está correcto. Bien, eso es, son los pasos para un email formal, okay? Ahora, si esos son los pasos para un email formal, estos dos emails que están aquí son formales, eh, es formal este, es formal este, es informal, ¿cómo lo mira? Es informal, es informal. Ok, this one. Si sí tiene el subject, pero no tiene... Ok, it has a subject and it is not, it is not es, clear. It says on a Saturday, right? Ajá. Yeah. Uh -huh. Does it have a salutation? No tiene salutations. No salutations. Okay. And let's see, does it have a closing phrase? No. Okay, I only see you, right? See you. Yeah, <laughs> it's informal. That's informal, as if you are writing a WhatsApp text message, right? But let's see the other one. Maybe this is for just a coworker, right? The let's subject, see this one. The subject is clear. Okay, the tomorrow's meeting. meeting. Okay. Uh, does it have a salutation? Uh, no salutation. No formal salutation, right? Does it have a closing um, a phrase? Uh, I don't forget to comment. No. Does it have a signature? No closing phrase. Okay. And it's only about a meeting. A meeting that is for uh, maybe not something relevant, right? It's with IT to fix something maybe, right? So this, uh, I mean, the main purpose of this message could be not so formal, right? It's informal. So this is what the thing was about yesterday. So we tried to write an email, okay? So, you have to write a professional email, um, well, to a coworker or you are going to imagine to whom, but, um, <clears throat> well, in this case, they are giving you the topic, okay? Pero mm -hmm. nosotros lo hicimos, eh, yo les pedí a sus compañeros que eh, escribieran, pensaran en uno de los temas que podrían ser importantes, muy formales para un email. Entonces, les mostraba el ejemplo de cómo eh, yo hice con mi email. Para que me haga un screenshot, ¿ok? Un screenshot. You go to your mail and click on compose, right? And compose or redact, right? Compose, write. And then it's going to pop up this, this window, right? And this window, you are going to add these things as if you are sending it, okay? As if you are sending it. But you have to be careful to follow all the steps, okay? You have to follow all the steps. And when you get your screenshot, then you send it to the WhatsApp group, okay? Ready. Is it everything okay? 
No, it's okay. <laughs> okay, you tell me. Is there anything else I can help you with? Todo me quedó claro. Simplemente Excuse agradecerle. Me. Thank you for learning. <laughs> okay, okay. Is no problem. With on all people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that's my pleasure. I mean, I I enjoy I enjoy teaching. So, and I like when you learn. Okay, I like when you are improving. I I do love to I do love seeing that. Yes. Okay, Carlos. Uh, you are doing a good job here. I see that you understand a lot. You understand. <laughs> okay, I think what it is, um, what you are having trouble is the structuring. I mean, is uh, saying your idea or composing your idea, right? So what, for doing that, you don't have to overthink, okay? You yeah. don't have to overthink, just think and the simple, okay? Go to the simple, go to the basics. What is the basics? To compose that, only a sentence, subject, verb, and complement. And then another sentence, and then another sentence, and then you said the idea, right? Uh -huh. So try by simple things first, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. My pleasure, so let us meet tomorrow, okay? And have Thank a good you. night, Carlos Alberto. Good night, teacher. Bye.